He lost a Nevada congressional race by a small margin in 2020. Now he is at the center of an open murder investigation. Dan Rodemer flew to Las Vegas to turn himself in today and has posted $200,000 bail. Fox 5 has obtained the court documents that reveal the chaotic chain of events investigators say led to a man's death at Resorts World. Fox 5's Kim Passoff is live with what their months-long investigation uncovered. So when a medical crew responded to the Palace Suite in Resorts World early in the morning hours of October 30th, they were told that a man had slipped, fallen, and hit his head. He was taken to Sunrise Hospital, where he died days later. The coroner found that he had head trauma and bleeding in his brain, later ruling his death a homicide. After an unsuccessful bid for Congress in Nevada, Dan Rodimer moved to Texas, unsuccessfully running again. The night of October 29th, he attended a Halloween party in a Resorts World suite with his wife and stepdaughter. His costume, Ken from the Barbie movie, a large fur jacket and no shirt. Christopher Tapp was also at that party. One of Rodimer's stepdaughter's friends told investigators the girls were doing drugs in the fun room, the master bathroom, which had lines of cocaine already prepared with a rolled up $100 bill to ingest the cocaine. Tap walked in and also started using the drugs. She then described seeing, quote, angry Ken rip off his jacket and run toward the master bathroom. She told the host of the party, whom she believed to be an F1 driver, that he better go stop Dan because he was going to fight Christopher. Several witnesses report Rodimer accused Tap of giving his daughter the drug, screaming, if you ever talk to my daughter again, I will expletive kill you. One witness saw Dan knock Christopher to the ground, at which time Christopher's head hit a small table and Dan proceeded to punch Christopher throughout his head and body. She said that Christopher did not fight back. Investigators also obtained text messages sent just hours later by Rodimer's own wife. I watched you nearly murder. Somebody and I had to take your hands off his neck as he laid there and you ran away. And I spent the next two hours trying to take care of him. Nobody should have to watch their husband murder somebody. And tonight, Rodimer's attorney sent Fox 5 a statement saying, quote, he intends on vigorously contesting the allegations and asks that the presumption of innocence guaranteed to all Americans be respected. He has a court hearing tomorrow and Fox 5 will be there. Reporting live, Kim Passoff, Fox 5 News, local Las Vegas. We are also learning that the victim, Christopher Tapp, was wrongfully convicted of rape and murder in Idaho in 1998. He spent 20 years in prison before he was released in 2019. It's believed he was the first defendant to be exonerated via genetic genealogy after the experience Tapp became an activist against wrongful convictions.